Hello, I'm Mr. Parker, and I live on Music Street. We're all at home right now trying out this weird new way of learning, so why don't we turn music class into a TV show? Here's how we do it. First we do a warm up and we dance upon the ground Then put the words on the tips of our tongues and twist them all around We take our vocal cords and then we get them all relaxed Then echo songs for me to sing to you that you sing back Then we'll sing in ten minutes just for fun, 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 fun. To the grab bag, see what we can find. Books galore and stories, so we don't all lose our minds. What's in Mr. Parker's house? Don't you wanna know? Then stuff for you to do after you finish up the show. It's the house on Music Street. Greetings! boys and girls, and welcome to the house on Music Street. I'm your Parker, Mr. Host. I'm your host, Mr. Parker, and as you can tell, I'm a little nervous because it's our maiden voyage, but that's all right. Sorry. Did something happened with... Ted. Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm trying. Sorry, troubles. No, press the, so the filters. <laughs> Oh, that's definitely not it. Okay, ah, you're back. There we go. Before we dive into our first episode, I thought we'd take some viewer mail. Our first letter comes to us from Isidore. And it says... Dear House on Music Street, What can we expect from this show? Cordially yours, Isidore. Well, it was all right there in the opening, didn't you? Listen? If you didn't, you can just rewind. But beyond that, there are going to be a lot of musical activities for you to try. And some of them will be singing, some of them will be movement activities. Uh, some of it will just explore some of the stuff that I have that's musical around my home. And if some of this is too hard for you, that's okay. Just try your best. And if you can't do some of these activities because they're for older kids, then you can just enjoy listening to me sing. Our second letter comes to us and it says, Dear House on Music Street, Before I begin, I'll say I wish to remain anonymous, so I'll only be using my first name. My question is this, how could you possibly have viewer mail already if this is the first episode? Big fan, sincerely, Barack. Well, Barack, the answer is simple. It's all fake. Here we go. Body warm up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Two, one. 
tongue twisters. Hey, Johnny Caw. How you doing? You doing all right? Fine. Good, good. Glad to hear it. Say, where can we find today's tongue twister? For those who shall seek the twister of tongues, look neither high nor low. Search deep in... It's in the sink. Go look in the sink. I think he was talking about the sink. That's right. Here's our tongue twister for the day. Six socks sit in a sink soaking in soap suds. And remember, when we do our tongue twister, the goal is to speak clearly and distinctly, for that helps audiences understand our words when we perform. Each time, we'll try it at a faster and faster tempo than the time before. And if I think it's too easy, I might have you do something else with it too. So for this one, you can either stand or sit. Say it with me slowly and start your tongue twister now. Six socks sit in a sink soaking in soap suds. Again, six socks sit in a sink soaking in soap suds. One more time. Six socks sit in a sink soaking in soap suds. One more time. Six socks sit in a sink soaking in soap suds. Easy. Let's try it a little bit faster. Everybody ready and say it with me. Start right now. Six socks sit in a sink soaking in soap suds. Again. Six socks sit in a sink soaking in soap suds. Again. Six socks sit in a sink soaking in soap suds. One more time. Six socks sit in a sink soaking in soap suds. Still too easy. This time do it again and add a clap in the rest. Six socks sit in a sink soaking in soap suds. Six socks sit in a sink soaking in soap suds. Six socks sit in a sink soaking in soap suds. Six socks sit in a sink soaking in soap suds. Good. But a little too easy still. This time I'm going to add some body percussion, an ostinato, which is a short repeated pattern. So I'm going to go knees, clap, snap, clap. And then I'll repeat that pattern a lot. Do it with me. Knees, clap, snap, clap. Knees, clap, snap, clap. And if you can't snap, that's all right. Just pretend. No one will know. Six socks sit in a sink. Soaking in soap suds. Six socks sit in a sink. Soaking in soap suds. And freeze. We're going to go this fast. Ready? Everybody ready and try it with me. Start right now. Six socks sit in a sink. Soaking in soap suds. Six socks sit in a sink. Soaking in soap suds. Too easy. Ready and here we go. Six socks sit in the sink, soaking in soap suds. Six socks sit in the sink, soaking in soap suds. Again, six socks sit in the sink, soaking in soap suds. Six socks sit in the sink, soaking in soap suds. Freeze. Last time. Ready and here we go. Six socks sit in the sink, soaking in soap suds. Six socks sit in the sink, soaking in soap suds. It happens. So I've got this dinosaur taped to a broom handle and a bunch of tape on the wall behind me. Because that's how we're doing our vocal warm ups now. See if you can make it to checkpoint number one. As the dinosaur goes lower into the valley, go lower in your voice. As the dinosaur goes up the mountain, go up in your voice.
Good job. Now let's go to number two. You'll notice the mountain goes higher. What does number three hold? What? Oh my goodness. Let's try it again. Oh man. Number four goes down low again and then number five goes all over the place. Ready? Let's try to number four. Ready, Dino? Yes. Stop to catch your breath. Still a little bit lower to go. Let's go all the way through. Stop to catch your breath. Now you're ready to sing. It's time for everybody's favorite, the echo song, or as I call it in class, a my turn, your turn song. It's super fun and very easy. Today, we'll be singing a children's folk song classic called, Oh, My Aunt Came Back. Listen to all the places she went and what she brought back with her. And one quick note, I'll be singing in my register, Oh, My Aunt Came Back. And then you would sing it back to me in your register, which would be, Oh, My Aunt Came Back, like that. Ready? Here we go. Oh, my aunt came back from old Algiers, and she brought with her a pair of shears. Oh, my aunt came back from Guadeloupe, and she brought with her today, I'm going to record myself saying it once, and then I'm going to use some computer trickery with the program GarageBand to make myself speak in canon with myself. This is Mina Dina. I'll put the words up on the screen so you can see it. It goes like this. Mina Dina Dina Dus Catalowina Wina Wuss Spit Spot must be done. Twiddle'em twaddle'em twenty-one. 
And now I'll put it down on the track number two underneath this. It sounds like this. Mina Dina Dina Dus. Catalowina Dina Dus. Catalowina Wina Wus. Twiddle em twaddle em must be done. Twiddle em twaddle em twenty one. Now I'll do that again and I'll add a third voice. But I'd like you at home to say it with the first voice. So you'll start first and you'll finish first. Start with the first Mr. Parker you hear. Mina Dina Dina Dus. Catalo Dina Dina Dus. Catalo Dina Dina Dus. Catalo Dina Dina Dus. Twiddle em twaddle em must be done. Twiddle em twaddle em twenty one. So that was Mina Dina in three voice canon. Make sure that you don't say that as you're standing around a bubbling cauldron, dropping a frog into it, or else your whole entire family will turn into witches, if they aren't already. And now a word from our sponsor. We'd like to thank our first sponsor, The House on Mango Street Book by Sandra Cisneros. It's a classic piece of literature that, uh, yeah, had this title first. Sorry. And iMovie. It's not a great video editing program, or even a good one, but it is the only one I know how to use. iMovie. And we're back! Now it's time on the show to reach into the... Grab Bag! I'm going to reach in here and whatever I pull out is the game we're going to play. Let's see if we get a good one. It. Way down in there. All right. Today we will play Handy Dandy. Handy Dandy is a great game, but before we can play it, I need you to pause your video right now and go get five things. Either five pennies or five, I don't know, cars, Hot Wheels, uh, five cinnamon buns. I don't know. Just something you can use to keep score with. And you'll also need a piece of paper and a pencil. Because you're going to make a scoreboard that looks like this. Okay, so Handy Dandy is a great game. It's a little rhyme that you say with me that goes like this. Handy Dandy Riddly Row. Which hand do you pick? High or low? And you have to use your high voice or your low voice. And this helps young students uh, master that part of their register. And if you're older and watching this, you can just enjoy playing a guessing game. Because as we say it, I'm going to hide this button in one of those hands. I'll hold up a high hand or a low hand. And whichever hand it's in, if you guess correctly, put a mark on your side of the scoreboard. If you guess wrong, put a mark on my side of the scoreboard. I can't wait to win. Here we go. First round goes like this. And I'll hide it off screen so you don't know which hand it's in. Handy dandy riddly row. Which hand do you pick? High or low? I'll open up my high hand first every time. Round one is high hand had nothing in the low. Round two. Say it with me if you want to. At least say the high and low parts. Round two. Handy dandy riddly row. Which hand do you pick? High or low? Let's see. Oh, it was in the high hand again. 
By now you should probably be able to say a lot of it with me, if not all of it. Ready? And here we go. Handy dandy riddly row. Which hand do you pick? High or low? Oh, it was low. Round four. Handy dandy riddly row. Which hand do you pick? High or low? It was low. Last round begins now. Handy dandy riddly row. Which hand do you pick? High or low? It was low. I don't know about you, but when I read, I like to do it in a cozy, wozy space that's really small. Luckily, the house on Music Street has one that's perfect for that. Come with me. We're going up to the penthouse. Our selection today is Forever Young by Bob Dylan and Paul Rogers. It has a special place in my heart because it's based off a song I love so much that I decided I would sing it to each of my children on the day they were born. I hope you enjoy the book based off of the song. May God bless and keep you always May your wishes all come true May you always do for others And let others do for you May you build a ladder to the stars Climb on every rung and may you stay. May you grow up to be righteous, may you grow up to be true, may you always know the truth and see the light surrounding you. May you always be courageous, stand upright and be strong.
May your hands always be busy. May your feet always be swift. May you have a strong foundation when the winds of changes shift. May your heart always be joyful. May your song always be sung. And may you stay. What good illustrations. What a good song. Again, that was Forever Young by Bob Dylan with illustrations by Paul Rogers. Did you notice that the guitar followed the main character from early childhood all the way through adulthood until he gave it to his very own child, a daughter? Did you also notice in the Constellations page that person playing guitar right there and harmonica that's a constellation of the guy who wrote this song Bob Dylan I love that book and that song but the air conditioner in the penthouse appears to be broken so I need to go back downstairs now Whew. it's a hot one let's go find out what's in mr. Parker's house What's in Mr. Parker's house? Don't you want to know? All right, what is this thing? It's a rustic wooden box of some sort. Multicolored. With a picture holder on top. If you guessed Pioneer Era Wagon Ride Cooler, you are wrong. Clearly you didn't notice. This music box crank on the front. This is indeed a music box that I had custom made by a fabulous woodworker in Thibodeau, Louisiana named Dave Bergeron. Dave is my wife's favorite woodworker and so I reached out to him before our wedding and he makes all of his artwork I believe out of wood siding from houses that were abandoned in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. So this box is a music box. I went on a little known website called Amazon.com. Ever heard of it? And got this music box crank. And along with it, they sent these blank music uh, staff approximations. And I plotted out where I would have to punch holes along this staff to make it play the song I wanted it to play. So you can see you turn the crank and it spins the mechanism inside and now I will feed through the song that I programmed this music box to play. So the song it plays is called Long May You Run by a famous singer named Neil Young. This is the song that my wife chose to be the first dance at our wedding that she did with her dad after we got married. So I gave her this present the morning of our wedding. This is Long May You Run by Neil Young, but in music box form. Bye. 
And that brings us to the end of this week's edition of What's in this Department's House? Stuff for you to do after you finish up the show. Well, that'll do it. That's all she wrote. Episode number one is in the books. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're a student of mine, after this episode, I'd like you to go to the class page and find out what I want you to do next. And if you're not a student of mine, thank you for watching. And your assignment is to go listen to the Music Box song, Long May You Run by Neil Young. It's beautiful. And your other assignment, if, especially if you're younger, is to play Handy Dandy Riddly Row. Which hand do you pick, high or low? So you can get more practice using your voice in its high register or its low register. All right, thanks for joining us. Hope to see you again soon.